Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It is Thursday the 25th of June. We have new mods, we have some updates. These dropped really early. There has also been a game update today on PlayStation 4 across all platforms. Mine on PlayStation 4 went live earlier today, uh, 1.16. I think it was and it just says various bug fixes and um, I did look on Twitter um, to see if there was any update from Farming Simulator as to any more information couldn't find anything but it did say various bug fixes um, so the updates for today across the top there is showing updates for the Homer exact DLC the platinum expansion the class platinum expansion and the Borgo DLC I think that's what it meant by the bug fixes and the game update seems to have updated those I couldn't really find out much information on those every time I clicked on them it took me to the main website we've had an update to the class of Rollins 250 roto cut by Soto modding industries an update to the Holmer slurry pack by Holger Sengstock and we've had an update to the new bales by Holger Steng Sengstock which we're going to have a quick look at now Okay, one of those that I want to look at in a bit more detail is the new bales by Holger Sengstock. Um, that was um, a set of balers that you could change all the colours and configurations and various different things on. Now, it does say as part of that update um, that, where are we? Uh, change log 1.2.00. Um, conflict of square bales, straw and hay with the loading wagons has been fixed. As compensation for the mistake, I sent the Arcusin machines to the paint shop and added them to this package. Um, what that means is, under baling technology, the balers that came as part of this module, these ones here with the SW4014 um, wrapper, and they've got all different configurations. I looked at them when they first came out, although which one didn't have anything. Was the roll belt 150 was a bit weird yeah still the same there's no different options i don't understand i thought that would have been updated all the rest of these you had all you could change all the colors and everything so you could make them i think i put this one up as vibrant new mods when it came out but still the roll belt isn't anyway the arcusin are these two the arcusin four stack 812 and the arcusin fsx 6372 um, have been added into that pack as additions and we can change the rim colour and main colour to whatever you want to on those to make them your own should you wish to do so. Um don't know what I pressed there. If you want to go for a class kind of vibe with that. Anyway, so that's what's been added on to that. As for the mods for today, we are going to start off with this one in front of us. Uh, this is the Gorenk Granota Supra 5 meter by White Ball Modding. Gorenk is a Slovenian manufacturer, it says in the mod hub. That's not just an impressive piece of information that I know. Um, this is a 5 meter it says 5M, 5 meter cultivator. Sorry for all the 3 meter cultivator aficionados out there. I know you've been waiting a while for another one to come out, but this is a 5, so uh, you just have to wait a little bit longer. Um, nicely detailed, lots going on. This should cultivate in a 5 meter kind of way. Um, this you'll find under cultivators. It's not a disc harrow or anything like that. 12,500. Uh, this will use how many slots was this? Seven slots on console. There are no options available. You get it as it is. It does fold and come folded. I just opened it up so you can have a look at it on the ground. That's the option for folding and unfolding. We drop it down. And it cultivates exactly how the cultivator should. There you go. It's not much more to say about that one. It's a cultivator, five metres wide, and it cultivates like a cultivator. Um, moving on, we have got this. This is the Annaberger HTS 2012. This is a, a regular trailer, if you want to call it that. What I like about this one is the capacity and price weirdly aren't that far off you get quite a lot of trailer for your money uh, which is nice this has got a lot of detail on it and quite a few options too um, this one is by 
where is it on my list vertex design they do put out some top quality stuff um, this one I think was 36 grand but this one I've got a rail and ladder I changed the section here uh, what else did I put on it I think the tyre options I changed too if you have it all basic you can get it down to about 31 grand with the extensions which is quite cool um, so we'll have a look at it in store this you'll find under trailers HGS 2012 29 grand it says there um, but obviously we'll have a look at options we can change the main color now the main color um, as far as I can tell is only the little kind of bits over the side the little flaps that come over the side there if you look on the left just above the wheels I'll change that back again to red that's that bit there design color is the cover I think pretty sure it's the cover uh, so we can have it standard we can have it with a cover which is 18,600 litres we can have it with an extension which takes up to 25,200 litres and then we can have it extension with a cover yeah so blue is the, the cover colour um, so for 31,500 as is you've got a 25,200 litre trailer which is pretty good you know the price for what you get I like that um, we can change the tyres from Lizard to Michelin to Trelleborg back to Lizard under Michelin we've got standard and standard it just changes the tread pattern it doesn't actually change the width or anything I can't actually get any closer to look at that um, and then under Trelleborg the same standard and standard just changes the tread pattern on those now you can have it on the front here without a ladder and with a ladder so if you want the ladder on there you can have that and then you can have um, hang on, with the railing and the ladder or without all so you can have yeah so standard ladder railing and ladder or none at all then you've got attacher there so depending on how high your attacher is what vehicle you're attaching to you can have a top attacher or a low attacher so you can change the attacher type off the chassis there at the front and then protection at the back you've got your impact protection a lot of lorries have this on the sides as well to stop vehicles going underneath the back of them you have it standard like that or without so if you want to take the, the impact protector off you can like so uh, those are your options available cover opens and closes like so you can change it from normal opening to grain door if you want to unload here go to the unload function nice smooth animation nice looking trailer not a bad price um, this was oh didn't write down what the slots was for this bear with me one second twenty three slots for that I suppose there is a lot of detail and there's a lot of options available on it so if I just click now moving on to the next of our mods so this one's got me a little bit baffled it's another one of those ones I'm a little bit like hmm okay uh, and that I'm apologize no disrespect to the modder I'm, I'm just a little bit kind of puzzled this is the Horse Titan 34UW and you might well say to yourself well hang on a minute have we already got one of those um, we had standard I think on 15 or 17 or possibly both there is a modded version of one of these already so this is another modded version of one of these um, like most mods we're getting now it's a nice tidy mod nothing wrong with it whatsoever it's a 34,000 litre auger wagon um, it will take the particular crops and types that auger wagons take um, yeah we'll have a look at it in store and I'll explain what I mean why I, I, you know, I don't want to you know I don't want to be negative about it or anything like that but you know, this is by where's my list this is the horse Titan 34 UW STV modding now uh, one of the mods there that one that I'm looking at now is 20 slots 34,000 litre capacity 280 horsepower takes those crop types takes seed um, and fertilizer this is the one here it's a little bit cheaper three grand cheaper 
Um, it's only four slots, so a little bit cheaper on the slot count as well. Now, straight away you think, okay, well that one there has got tracks, this one hasn't. More options available on this one by STV Modding. We can change the main colour from red to black, which is one of the options available. You can change your rim colour to any of those. With tracks on it doesn't change that, but wheels on it does. So what I'll do is I'll pick something bright so it stands out. So at the moment we're on tracks. So Trelleborg, we can have crawl track or standard wheels, and you can see there the rim colour has now changed to yellow. Um, so you can have it crawl track or wheels. Um, you can also have it Michelin, but with Michelin you don't have the option for crawl track, you just have the wheel. That's it. Um, the horsepower requirement is the same, the capacity is the same. Let's say it's a little bit cheaper and it's a little bit lower on the slot count. One difference between the two is this one by STV Modding we're looking at now doesn't have a cover. This one does. So yeah, it's a little bit one of those. The colours are different. You can change the rim and the from red to black, but you know it does what an auger does. Uh, we'll do pipe out. There's no adjustability on the pipe. Once it's open, it's open and it stays fixed in that position. And um, it's an auger trailer. And that's what it does. There you go. I apologise. I don't. I don't mean to be negative towards STV modding. You think it's just is what it is so moving on to the next of our mods for today we've got this this is nice now again does this do anything different to ones we've already got in game no but what i do like about this is the design i've said this before i love machinery i love design i love ergonomics i love all that kind of stuff this looks i mean i know it sounds weird this looks pretty it looks really cool this is the bednar 30 box fb 3000 this is a seed tank an additional seed tank uh, in the real world, as two separate tanks, one for seed, one for fertiliser, or for different two different types of seed, you can do all different things with it. Um, weirdly, the FB3000, I would have thought was a 3000 litre capacity. It's only a 2000. Uh, I think in the real world, I did look on the Bednar website, but it wasn't 100% clear. I'm sure the one in the real world is 3000. But anyway, regardless, nice big lights on the front of it. This is a big old unit though. Um, on the Bednar website as well, it showed this on the back of a quad track um, with the cedar attached behind it. This one in game attaches on the front. If you attach it on the back, you can't then attach your cedar, so it has to be attached on the front. It does have a pipe here which gives you that pipe attachment to the back. Weirdly, the only one I can find that will attach to is this one here. Um, my mind's gone blank as to what it is, but we'll have a hook up to it in a minute. Tempo V8. Might be the Vader Stack Tempo V8, I think it is. That's the only one I can find that gets the pipe attachment. Everything else it attaches to, it doesn't. Um, so what we'll do is we'll hook up. We can raise and lower it, like so. We can open the covers. Again, I like this, the design, the look. It's, it's a pretty cool looking thing. Like I say, it's got 2,000 litres in it at the moment. That's the capacity. It will take seed only. It won't do seed or fertiliser. Um, lights. Do like the fact we've got lights in the front of that too. Um, and it's a, it's a seed tank. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it does. And like I say, if we attach to this one, the Tempo... Is it F8 or V8? V8, isn't it? Yeah, Tempo V8. You get the pipe attachment, like so. But that's the only one I could find that it does that with. There may be others, there may be modded ones, there may be one I've missed. Uh, it wouldn't do it that with any of the cedars, um, but it did with that planter. Um, so yeah, that's what it will do. This you will find under cedars. So where are we? Under cedars. The Bednar FB300, the 30 box, 17,500 to buy. Like I say, uh, 2,000 litre capacity um, and takes seed only. I don't think there are any other options available. No, you get it as is. Like so. Uh, moving on, what have we got next? Oh yeah, this was weird. This was one that, again, wasn't on the, the Farming Simulator website mods hub but was in the actual mods hub this is the john deere 6m series by giant software 
and again, my mind said, hang on, we've already got a 6M, and I'm sure they released it with the 6M. Um, there was a mod recently, and I, ha I did get a bit of grief over this, and I, I apologise. Um, this had an update. The, the modded 6M series had an update a while ago, and I, I kind of glanced over it, and it said, I think I mentioned it, different chassis lengths, and didn't go into any more detail on that, but apparently it's quite a big update, and there's all sorts of chassis sizes and whatever. I think this is what this is kind of intimating with, because we've got the 6M already, but this is a different one. As you can tell, this is a little drop-nose John Deere. So this is the smaller range of the 6M, the smaller chassis size. Um, and like I say, this is by Giant Software. This one is 31 slots, which I think is pretty much the same as what the standard one is, their standard one in game. Um, it's a nice looking tractor. I like it on, like on the small end for the John Deere's, but that's quite cool. Um, there's quite a few options available on this too. There are no opening or closing doors or anything like that. Um, it's kind of pretty much standard. Uh, but anyway, this you'll find under... Was it mediums or smalls? I think it's under small tractors. I did have a look in mediums and couldn't find it. Actually, now what? We'll have a look in medium first and I'll show you what I mean. So, the, the standard 6M series that came from Giants as part of the base game is that one there. 119,000. Starts at 142 horsepower and goes up from there. And it's that length chassis with the normal engine cover and that kind of thing so if we come back out and we go into small tractors we've got the uh, 6m series here that they've just released this is the smaller version um 130 horsepower base model we can change the tires from trelleborg to michelin to knock-ins under trelleborg we've got standards weights wides wide and weights rear twins twins narrows which is quite cool back to standard uh, under Michelin, standard, wheel weights, wides, widen weights, and then rear twins, twins, back to standard. We can have engine set up the 6110M for 130 horsepower, the 6120M, 140 horsepower, and that's it, the two, 130 and 140 horsepower. So this puts it the smaller size of the 6M. Um, and then we have front loader attacher, yes or no. Those are your options available. I quite like this. It's a nice diddy little tractor. Still, again, though, 31 slots is, is fairly high for a small tractor. So, nice engine sound, like that. Lights, beacons, horn. I say, I don't know, something about it. Just cool looking tractor. I like that. Um, in cab, nice, neat and tidy. Farm dog agrees it's nice, neat and tidy. He likes it. And like I say, if I open the help menu, like so, I've got no options to open and close doors or anything like that. It is what it is. That's about all there is to say on that. There's not loads of options. There's no opening doors and windows. Nothing to show you. Um, just that. There we go. We have got a couple more vehicles to look at, the ones from the thumbnail, but we now move on to the buildings. There's a lot of mods today, quite a lot. Um, I'm going to start over here. This is the Horse Stable. This is by Merkta Gernbauer. Uh, this will use 23 slots. This is nice, this one. I like it. Um, it kind of combines your horse sort of stabling with your horse riding facility. We've had a few mods like this out, uh, which is pretty cool. Your buy sell load or unload trigger is there for your horses we've got your troughs around the sides here so if you water your hay your oats you like your bedding and your feed and stuff is all around this side there's a nice little lean to area here so if you are going to be running seasons or something and you want to have your bales or whatever it is you're going to be feeding them tucked under there you absolutely can i'm just checking to my right it is seasons ready um there are quite a few you know we've got lights and various different things that open and close here I say it's nice, not bad at all. It's got quite a big footprint. Doors open fairly quickly as well. We have got lights over here. Like so. I don't think these blinds open. I couldn't find a switch for them anywhere. So you've got a little riding area in here for exercise if you don't want to take them outside or the weather is inclement. We've got a door. Please open. Nope, it's going to work from the other way just to be really awkward. We do have light switch on the outside too, which puts these outside lights on. There are more going round. That's like some nice detail. Then we've got the office area around here. This door does open and close. I just left it open. Apologies. 
So got the office area in here with trophies and various different pictures. Lots of detail. It's really cool. Um, does that open? It does. Stables in there. Stables. Saddles in there. And this will open from this side now, won't it? Of course it will, yeah. And that opens back through into there. This will take 16 horses. So not a bad size for stabling either. Um, you'll find this under placeables, under animal pens. So there you go, horse stable, 120 grand, let's say 16 animals. Um, and yeah, I mean, you, you, again, another one, you, you get what you see. Uh, there are no options available on it. You find a nice flat bit of ground, or make a nice flat bit of ground, put it down and away you go. Let's say it's a lot of detail, I like it. I like the fact you can also go through from your, where your horses are in here into your exercise area from there. I meant to show that, I forgot, but now I have remembered, so all is good. So there you go, that's by Merck to Gernbauer, the horse stable. Moving on, we're going to carry on this way round, I think. We've got these. Um, these are the solar fields, large and small. We've got the small to the front, just here, and the large to the back over there. These are not cheap to buy. These are solar panel sections that will pay you a certain amount per hour once you've placed them. Um, again, you can do the maths on these, and with any placeable way you earn money by placing something, you often find the price is so high that it will take you days and days and days and days and days of gameplay before you actually recover any money from buying them in the first place. So that kind of economic side of things, I mean, sometimes you just have to push that to one side and say, okay, yeah, I, I get that. Um, but they are here and you can place them. Um, the small one will pay you out 125 on easy, on normal 70, on hard 35. The larger one will pay you out on easy 250, normal 175 and hard 90 but like i say they are not cheap to buy um obviously the fence is kind of getting the way of having a look at it there you go that's a bit better isn't it? nicely detailed you get what you get you want flat ground for placing those two otherwise you're gonna get clobbered when you place them uh these you will find under uh, i think these were miscellaneous if i remember correctly so there we go the solar field large is 500,000 to buy uh, these use four slots each to place, and the solar field small is 200,000. So, yeah, they're not cheap. Um, and they're the same thing, you just place them down and just leave them, and then you'll get paid that amount per hour. Uh, that was by... did I say who that was by? No, that's by Razak and Project Mecklenburg 17. Apologies. Four slots each, and away you go. Now, moving on. We've got these. Uh, these, I am torn. Hugely torn. This is the Placeable Ruins House Pack by Marcus underscore 77. There are three in this pack. A kind of a small, a medium and a large-ish. The detail on these is phenomenal. Now this isn't just about these mods either. Um, placeables, in decorative placeables, in my opinion... I don't understand why we have to pay for them in-game. I get it if it's going to be something that jazzes up your yard or something like that and you know you want to add it in for a little bit of ornaments, those kind of things. If you went to a garden centre to buy an ornament, you might buy a lawn ornament, a fountain, so it's going to cost you money. Would you go and buy a ruined house? I could understand it if it was, was a placeable that when you pressed a button, like on some of Alien Jim's maps, um, it would then transform into a fully built house fine i get that and like i said this is not just a dig at these in particular this is just generally decorative placeables um you'll see why it's kind of it's kind of kind of come to my mind with these because of the price of them um like i say they are incredibly detailed but that detail comes with a hefty slot count on console like i say i mean just amazing detail this is all one of them all up to here to the garage this one Wow, completely under construction. All this stuff around the back fencing, all this going on. Blimey. I mean, like I say, there is a lot happening on there. So when you look at the detail, you can absolutely understand the detail on this, why the slot counts are what they are. And I'm going to show you what the slot counts are in a minute. And that's the small one on the end, which isn't too bad, actually. Um... So yeah, if you just want something on your map, it might be you're putting something on for a storyline or something like that, and you know, 
at the end of the day there are various different mods and things to enable you to put money in so it wouldn't necessarily have to cost you anything if you wanted to place them i'm just pointing that out generally but these you will find again under these ones decoration so we've got the placeable small ruins house um, the small one is 39 slots 7,800 you think okay that's not too bad the placeable ruin house with construction site with all the fencing around the back of it that's 58 slots and it's 90,450 to buy the placeable big ruin house which is the first one we looked at and I kind of did them in the other order um, that's 51 slots um, and is 75 grand to buy and like i say i, I want to put this out there now i'm not slamming this modder specifically i just think certain things if you were going to buy a flagpole yeah fair enough you're going to buy a flagpole put it down um but certain things i just i don't know why they have a price tag or why they have such a high price tag but anyway again that's one of those things um so there we go that's the um placeable ruins house pack um by marcus underscore 77 the, the slot counts are so high because of the detail. I mean, the, like I said, you cannot take that away from the, the level of detail on these is incredible. Just incredible. So you may find a use for them, you may not. That's entirely up to you. Uh, right, through the gap here, they, I told you we had a lot of mods today. Um, I don't know if we just didn't get many yesterday and they've slammed them all onto Zays, or were we gonna get, if we're going to get more later, I have no idea. These dropped this morning or lunchtime-ish. So this one here is, um, as you can see in front of you, a bunker silo. This is the Lizard Bunker Silo by Nismo. It's a large bunker silo, slightly different design to some of the others we've seen, with the uh, kind of the moulded concrete slab sections that are then put together. This is a big bunker silo. Um, it's got quite a big footprint to it too, as well, with the, the sort of concrete ground uh, that goes around it too. At the end of the day, it's a bunker silo. You, you put your chaff or grass in this, compact it, cover it, and you're going to get your... Uh, now, does this leak? Are there any issues? I honestly don't know. I haven't had the chance to or try to fill this up. I don't know what the capacity is either. It doesn't say on the website or on the mod hub what the capacity is. It just says 60 metre bunker silo for making silage. Uh, ideal for large farms. Um, so, as far as what the capacity is, my, I would say... In my expert opinion, five million litres. That's just a. I mean, that's just a wild guess. But um, this you'll find in the silos. Forty-five thousand to buy. Um, this will use obviously one slot. It said, which is pretty good. One slot. Car nods that, um, and that's it that's another one that that's you know it's what it does you put the stuff in it it makes silage uh moving on we've got more don't go away we've got this this is nice this is the old brick house by jacku boss one uh again nicely detailed the texture on this is fantastic it's a lovely looking building um this is how many slots was this 30 not too bad on the slot count what i really like about this weirdly i know it says that very peculiar this is a sleep trigger house, so this is a sleep through the night one. We can go inside. When I went into the living room, it reminded me of going into my, my grandparents' house when I was a kid. <laughs> You'll see what I mean when we go in, but the detail on it is amazing. Um, look. Wow. Honestly, just the, the carpet, everything, wallpaper, just, I don't know. So I say, loads of detail. Really cool. I don't think that one opens, did it? No, I don't think so. Um, but we go upstairs, the sleep trigger itself is upstairs in, I think it's in this bedroom. L3, we're not tired at the moment, thank you very much. There's your sleep trigger, there's another little room just off to the side there. Um, but there we go, that's your uh, old brick house by Jakku Boss 1. This you'll find under placeables, under farmhouses. 40,000 to buy. And like I say, um, 30 slots, so... Not too bad at all. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. Um, and it's these. These mad mods. This is bonkers stuff. This is this is this is PC territory, isn't it? I mean, whoa, these look really cool. And I'll be honest, are they bullet hole stickers on the side? Oh no, they're not. I was just saying, what? How boy racer is that? No, they're not. 
<laughs> now this is only one mod but these are a couple of options that are available I thought I'd kind of show you both we've got the nice kind of silvery rims with big old flotation Mitas tyres on it um, this is a skidder um, this is by North Modding Company and this is designed for hauling, dragging logs bundles of logs, not normally bundles of logs, well maybe if you can grab bundles of logs um, out from the forested areas, out to the working areas where lumber's being loaded, chopped, whatever else is happening to it, mulched, um, wood chipped, whatever. Um, this is the largest, most powerful skidder produced by John Deere. There are a few wheel configuration options on this, but this also has another feature on it, which I think is really cool. Um, whether you'll find a use for it or not, but if you are doing forestry and you're clearing areas, and you've got one of these, you may well. The level of detail on these is great. North Modding Company, as usual, bring out some quality stuff. And the, what, the reason I'm saying is that like, I'm, I'm not poking fun at PC players or anything like that, but you often find some of the PC mods that come out are on the zanier side. We don't tend to get them on console as much. Um, and having you know, three wheel configurations is nothing new. Big buds and various different things like that have them. On this, it just looks a bit mad, you know. Um, but I do like it. Articulated in the middle, huge claw on the back. These are cool and they sound cool too. So, these you will find under vehicles, under forestry machines. The John Deere 94, 948L2. Um, how many slots was this? I've lost it on my list. It's gone. 14. Not too high in the slot count, which is pretty good. Um, so, options available on this we can change the main color from green to black so you can have the midnight edition we'll leave it on the john deere green for the time being uh, rim color we can go for yellow to green to black or to the silver so it's quite cool uh, then design color changes the claw so again we can have black or yellow so if you do decide on the main color to go for like i did with the, the one i've got there the midnight edition um, you can have it with the black claw on the back as well, but you don't have to if you don't want to. That's, of course, your prerogative. Um, wheel brands, we can have Trelleborg, we can have Mitres, and then we have the Ollis Fours. Now, the Ollis Fours on these, wow. Again, options are incredible. Evo Baltic, Evo Magnum, Pro Grip U, and then you go through these again, but in different colours. So we've got the silver selections, then black. The black looks quite menacing, actually. I quite like that like a weird Batmobile type thing uh, then back to the blue again but yeah rather cool um, so if we go back to that and back to Trelleborg so we can have standard twin or triple wheels with the Trelleborgs <laughs> that's just craziness man um, but with the Mitus it comes standard with the wider flotation tyres which I, I quite like the look of that I think that's really nice with the flotation tyres then capacity is actually your fuel tank capacity. So you've got 391 litre or you can go for the 457.7 litre fuel tank if you want that little bit more range on your vehicle. Those are your options. Now, as for the vehicle itself... See that door open and close? I'll jump out and have a look again. Cool. Quite a low profile to it. Looks a bit like a kind of custom drag car type thing, you know. Very nice. Um, so, I'm going to open the side menu here because we've got a few options. It says grapple rot free. Now, if I do L1, the numbers are all there because I've got my Satex side panel plugged into my PlayStation. If I do normal PlayStation control, so L1. If I do X and lock it, have I done that right way around? L1, R1 rotates that rear grapple but I've locked it so it can't so if you're driving and or you don't want to or you've got a load of trees on there and you don't want it moving you can lock that L1 and X unlocks it so then I can rotate that grapple round so the back I'm now rotating the grapple let's get into the lights so I can see a bit better so we can rotate the grapple round or we can lock it in place like so now we can raise and lower at the back like so. So L1 and right stick up and down will do that. R1 and right stick will then do that bit there so you can raise it right up and then kind of right up out of the way. So you've got a few different. Now this doesn't 
turn it doesn't rotate the rotation comes in the head so l1 r1 rotate the head did i just lock that yes right we can rotate the head and if i do my right stick up and down so l1 r1 right stick up and down we can then open and close that grapple and it's a big grapple you'll get a load in there now we all know, if, or unless you're new to the game, log grapples and grapples in general in the game can be a little bit finicky, don't always grab, sometimes you get log stuttering. Potentially that could still happen. Um, I can't guarantee that it's not going to. What is cool, it's a, it's a kind of a weird one from inside, the driving position, camera inside, you've got this tilt as you turn. So if you're just sitting normally and you look left or right, you've got this kind of tilt it's, it's really cool um, and then back out again but we can do l1 r1 and x will change our driving direction you can see the just about to see the seat moving in there so now we're sitting here looking at the back and you can drive it like that so if you're going to grab your logs and you want to be able to see and it's easier for grabbing them you can do it like that l1 r1 x takes me back around again to what you would consider to be the standard driving position like so those flotation tires are absolutely awesome on there uh, so Here's the thing, you might have noticed, oh I'm doing it, look, um, our, um, what's the best way of describing it, blade I guess, the blade on the front, uh, for pushing logs, doing whatever you want to, it does say on that help menu, allow create fields, so if I now allow create fields, L1 and triangle, and I now drop that down, so L1 and right stick side to side, raise and lowers the blade, up and down does the crane. So I want to do the blade. So side to side, if I now put that into the ground, now I don't want it too far into the ground because I don't want to hamper the movement of the vehicle, but I can now plough with it. Now that isn't actually moving any dirt, that's just giving you kind of the ploughed state, ploughed texture. But that's, I don't want to go too deep into the ground but there you go so you can plow now obviously you might want to drop that down a little bit lower if you're going to get it all the way across especially if over undulating terrain but you can plow with it so if you are working in the forest you've cleared an area and then you want to plow it out or you've cleared a road that you want to plow out and use for your vehicles to get through this can be used in a plow configuration um, so if I now do L1 and triangle that stops that happening so if I drive now with the plough down so I accidentally drop the plough I'm not going to suddenly plough out an entire field on my way through um, but L1 and right stick I can raise that up and out the way um, it's got those big old bars in the front there to stop branches and logs and stuff smashing into the engine and the cab and that kind of thing but yeah it's just it's a bit of a beast this I'm going to jump in the other one because I just want to <laughs> no other reason than I just want to that looks crazy with the triples, doesn't it? If you're going to do extreme swamp logging, that is madness. But anyway, that's it for the mods. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I was enjoying it too much. Um, that's it for the mods for today. Um, oh, I'll say for today, unless they drop any more later on. I, I, I hope not. So this could be part one. But if not, these are the mods for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.